Another week, another video. I'm David. I'm Alexa, and we are Folk on the Move. So, we made a bit of a spontaneous decision to drive back to our home state of Minnesota after our last video. We were on the Oregon coast, and um, we realized that we could get our COVID-19 vaccine sooner if we drove back to Minnesota earlier than we'd originally planned. And it seemed like an obvious answer to us since we want to get the vaccine and, you know, do our part. So yes. we actually just got them this morning. I'll show your thing. Oh, Wait, can I? Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no one's going to believe me. I have to show it. <laughs> Yay. We did it. That felt really good. Oh, yeah. And now we're in our home state for a little bit. So we're going to navigate van life in the Midwest for a bit mm -hmm. and kind of take it from there. Uh, we loved the West Coast and we are super excited to get back there someday. We know we will. Yeah, but... there's so much more to explore. Yeah. So this video is going to kind of take you through what the last chunk of our time in Oregon looked like. Um, it was great. We loved it so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll save it for the video, but we loved everything about it. So <laughs> super excited to share that. Should we show them where we're sitting right now? Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it in the uh, mic, but uh, the, that's waves crashing in the background because we are in, well, just outside of Duluth, Minnesota. Minnesota's ocean is in front yeah. of us. Yeah, Lady Superior. Yeah. The Great Lake. Yeah, why don't you show it? So in case you need a reminder of who we are and kind of what we're all about, we are a nomadic couple. We're currently living full time in our self-converted Ford Transit van. We love it. It's very fun. Super fun. <laughs> and we're just kind of actively pursuing creative endeavors and seeking simplicity, enjoying life on the road, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> and now that we are pretty comfortable in the van, uh, we got the, you know, that steep learning curve out of the way of where do you sleep? Where do you dump your pee? <laughs> where do you do all the van life things? Now uh, we're excited to get into our creative endeavors more and to share that with you through these videos as we, uh, as we pursue these passions out of a van. All right, let's get to it. Oregon coast, let's <laughs> do it. Before we reached the Oregon coast, we stopped in Northern California to take a look at the Redwood National and State Parks. There's a ton of places to pull off and explore these magnificent trees. We stopped at the Prairie Creek Redwood State Park and loved every second of it. Could have spent days exploring this area, but we really wanted to get to Oregon, so we hit the road. Quick check in we crossed into Oregon like 10 minutes ago. The water is gorgeous! Oregon's a place to be for sure. We are so excited for this coastal drive. This is like, this is what we've been waiting for like the rocky shores, kind of rough waters. Yeah, it's like so it's far, amazing. it's the beauty of. The California coast, but it's getting rockier, which is just so cool. Yeah, looking. yeah, absolutely. So we are so stoked, and we will show you more as we go along. But first, I had to sing a little sunshine song while the sun was shining. Sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. These will take my sunshine. And back to the coastal drive. We couldn't believe how many beaches were completely empty. We could pull off pretty much anywhere and have the beach all to ourselves. It was especially nice at night because we could pull off and have an ocean view as we went to sleep and woke up in the morning. This particular spot we're about to show you was hands down our favorite. We were going for a morning walk on the beach when we noticed this big rock structure and on the side of it facing the water was this natural staircase that was just kind of part of the rock. So we started to climb it and found that at the top of it there were these two spots perfect for two people to sit down 
and enjoy the view. So we enjoyed our coffee, talked, listened to the waves. Really magic moment, and uh, we're calling it our secret coffee spot. So we made sure to drop a pin so that we could find it again in the future. Though we loved the coastal life, we decided to head into inland Oregon for a bit to explore. Let me tell you, it did not disappoint. Look at the spot we found. Okay, we stayed at one of the coolest overnight spots last night. We left the Oregon coast, drove inland like half an hour, um, and on this winding road, we found this pull-off that ended right on this river. Beautiful, surrounded by these enormous trees, very lush and green. And we were able to park right there, just right off the hill. So, if we can get out of here in one shot, then it will be the perfect spot. Because uh, there's definitely a chance we'll get stuck. It's a little sandy and wet. Um, yeah, and if we do, we have no service, so this might be the last you ever see of us. Fortunately, we did make it out in one shot, so this spot has made the list for some of our all-time favorite overnight locations. After our nice little stay inland, we decided to head back to the coast. As always, David found a beautiful spot to play some music. The rest of our time in Oregon was really special. We had so much fun soaking up beach time and just exploring this beautiful, beautiful state. It's definitely on our list to come back to. In between exploring, David even found some time to record music for his next album, which was so cool to do on the road. We took in these last few moments and in what felt like no time, it was time for us to get back on the road and head to Minnesota. Our route took us from the Oregon coast through Spokane, Washington, through Idaho, Montana, and North Dakota. It was a really beautiful drive, and even though we were going fast, we were still able to soak in a lot of slow moments. All right, we just entered Minnesota. Woo we're really excited to be back in Minnesota and can't wait to show you more of our home state. Until then, please subscribe, like, comment, you know the drill. We'll see you next week.